Uh, good morning YouTube friends. Today we're going to plant some uh, sweet peppers and if this is the uh, first time you're ever doing a garden, this is a great little plant to uh, start to learn on. I remember when I was just a little eight year old boy, my first garden that my daddy helped me make was only a 10 by 10 garden, but we planted some peppers and uh, it's very rewarding to watch them grow and to be able to get a harvest and it really doesn't take a whole lot of skill to grow so if it's uh, your first garden <laughs> then check out the sweet peppers they're easy to grow and they're good to eat but today i'm going to um, walk you through the process of um, how to prepare the bed for the sweet um, sweet peppers and how to fertilize the sweet peppers and actually install the, the plant into the ground and the care that you take to keep this um, plant in the in a, in a position that it be, will be able to grow and cascade and flourish and be happy so let's get started I got three varieties of plants today I'm going to use a, a, a sweet banana pepper a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper and I like to mix them up because uh, they're good in spaghetti and I like to make a sweet pepper or pickled sweet pepper for my uh, for my sandwiches and uh, I bought these at the store as starter plants and as soon as I can get down to our rural homestead we'll be growing stuff from seed and uh, I look forward to doing that in the little greenhouse but uh, when you buy these plants, you'll see this plastic wrap around this container. This is a, a biodegradable container that you should be able to just to stick in the ground and let it grow. I've done it both ways. I've planted the, the container in there and I've also removed the container. And I seem to have better results by removing the container. And it doesn't get as tend to be root bound unless the, the roots expand out and it stabilizes the plant it seemed to me much better and the way I do that is um, you come up to the plant and you very carefully cut this off and I try to get the whole thing and it's going to fall apart and crumble up a little bit on you but that's all right See how the roots are already going around and around the plant. I like to be able to put it in the ground, let those those roots expand out. Not quite as root bound. And if you can't get all of the stuff off, that's all right. Just get the best you can. And to me, that right there. See how it's on the bottom, root bound on the bottom. I pull that back away a little bit. Now I think I've got a plant that's got the roots all out there ready to go so let's let me go ahead and get all of these done like that okay I got all the plants out of the pot they are ready to go I'm gonna set these aside I want to get my fertilizer ready I like to use fish when I fertilize my plants as often as I can and this is a pretty cheap and inexpensive way to fertilize your plants organically and man they ain't nothing better than putting fish in the hole and it's actually kind of cheap i mean this pack was only four bucks and i can get it at any local tackle shop it's just um, bait fish and or you can spend forty five thousand dollars on one of them and go catch it yourself but it's much easier and cheaper just to go spend four dollars and get one but these things i like to take and i'll cut these guys up a little bit So I, I can get them in the hole. You can cut that fish up into pieces like that. And then when I go over there to plant it, they fit in the hole better. Okay. Let me get this chopped up. Okay, I'm going to use my perimeter bed to uh, install my sweet peppers. And this bed's been sitting all winter, so it's kind of compacted a little bit. Yeah, I've been keeping it clean of the weeds all winter. And what I'm going to do is cultivate this and loosen that ground up. Then I'm going to grade that out. 
and then I'm going to add in some black cow cow manure about a two inch thick layer of that on across the top of it then I'll cultivate that in and grate it and that's when we're going to stick our peppers in the ground so let me get that started for you Alright, I got the cow manure put in and I grated it down nice and smooth. I'm going to cultivate that in one more time to blend that in with the existing dirt that I already had there. Then I'll grade that out and then we're going to get to work on planting some peppers. Okay, I got it all definitely prepared. And uh, it's very important that I come back and aerate that ground with a little cultivator and get some oxygen back down in there and break up some of that hard packness from this winter time. And it gets that ground very soft. So when I put these new plants in there and that little tender root growth that's trying to come off, they have no trouble digging out and penetrating in through that soft ground and um, helps that plant to um, establish itself very quick. If you could see how beautiful it looks after you get it um, composted with the cow manure and cultivated. Okay, my um, my bed is about two feet wide and about 20, uh, 21 feet long. So I've got nine plants for this bed. The reason I know that is I know my plants need to be about 24 inches apart so they have room to expand and cascade and, and grow healthy and I have plenty of air in between the plant so it's not crushing against each other causing them to be leggy you want your plants to be able to mature to a mature plant so always it's important to space them out correctly when you plant them so if I got nine plants and 21 feet I got about two feet per plant of spacing so what I do to make it easy on myself is I make myself a little stick that's 24 inches long and I'll go down the road sticking those little holes so I know where all my plants are going to go. Okay I'm going to start right here. That'll give my plant plenty of room to grow right here in this corner. So I'll make me a little mark right here. Here's where my first plant's going to go. There's my next one. Okay, I got my holes in and I'm going to put this fish in the bottom of the hole. And the reason I put the fish in the bottom is uh, when I put the plant up, it'll be separated away from that fish as that fish is decomposing, those roots aren't there yet. And by the time that fish decomposes, those roots finally reach down to that very rich fish emulsion and instant fertilizer. Got the fish in the hole and ready to go. Now what I'm going to add to it is plain old garden lime. You can buy at any, any store. And what I do with this lime is I just put me a little handful right on top of that fish. That keeps that fish from smelling where you smell it through the, um, the ground. And if you can smell it through the ground, so can dogs and possums and raccoons. And I have a, a fence around my garden, but you may not. And if you have um, fish buried like that close to the surface, They'll come out and dig all your plants up trying to get to that fish. And uh, this lime in the plant in the ground helps the plant anyway. So let me go ahead and get them limed.
Okay, the next step is I get some of these bamboo canes, a little 24 inch long sticks is all they are. You can get this at any nursery. Um, what I use with these is I'll put these and I'll stake up that plant. And I try to catch the leaves so they're trapping themselves by their own leaves. Now what that does is when the wind's blowing and these nice little roots are trying to get going, it's not beating the plant all around. It helps it to uh, establish itself stably and grow upwards and uh, without falling over and snapping and uh, breaking it. Another thing you want to add onto your plants is this cage. Now, the bamboo canes are going to help the plant to get its legs and get strong and grow up. But eventually this plant is going to be this tall and this wide. And that's when the cage will already be in place so it can grow into the cage. And the, the cage frame will support all those limbs that are heavily laden with peppers and um, keep the wind from catching it and the rain and everything and breaking off your plant, which is heartbreaking because I've experienced that. So always install these. All right, we got them all in the ground and they're gonna grow into be some beautiful little peppers and we're gonna enjoy them all summer. And uh, I wanna tell you, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you got something out of that. If you like our videos, uh, subscribe to our channel. We got a whole bunch of stuff coming up this summer you may find of interest. And always remember, by his hands, we are fed. Give, Give us Lord, Lord our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.